I don't think I really appreciated or understood the magic of Disney until much later on in life. I went when I was when I was like 12, my family went to Disney World in Florida. Uh, but I don't really rem I remember a little bit, but I don't remember much from that trip. It wasn't until my family went right as I was about to go off to college that I really sort of realized how freaking magical Disney is. So I've been a few times now as more of an adult person and Disneyland is just magic, you guys. Absolute magic. Um, and I finally understand and appreciate that and it's great. Since I've been going to Disneyland, I've actually also been arguing with a friend of mine, one of my best friends from high school, and he would always say that the fireworks in Disneyland were the best thing ever. And I much prefer, and probably still do, um, the World of Color show at California Adventure, which is like a water projection, lights, music thing, and I love it. Until the most recent, my most recent trip to Disneyland, um, I was going with a friend of mine and we only went to Disneyland. Like we just got a single, single park pass. And so we're just like, okay, well, we'll, we'll watch the fireworks for a couple minutes and then we're going to try and get, um, get a head start on, on, uh, getting back to the car. So we're sitting in the Jolly Holiday Cafe, right at the end of Main Street, and the fireworks are about to begin, and Julie Andrews, like, as a voiceover, introduces the fireworks, and I kind of lose it. Um, I love Julie Andrews <laughs> a lot. Sound of Music is still one of my favorite things. Um, pun intended, and they just, it's Julie Andrews, and she's so wonderful, and she's just saying, like, I hope you've had a magical day, and we're about to start our fireworks show, and I just run out into the street, and I'm just like, what's going on? Julie Andrews is here! She's not, obviously. <laughs> um, and my friend is like running after me. And then one of the ushers like taps me on the shoulder and he's just like, ma'am, ma'am, you can't stand here. And I just look at him like, where do I go? <laughs> so I like duck under one of the ropes. I watched the fireworks show completely enthralled. It was, oh man, the fireworks show is just magical. Um, and then at the end of the show, so it's, it's just magical. It's so amazing. And at the end of the show, Julie Andrews, like the voiceover, comes back and says, as long, like, as long as you believe, your dreams will come true. And I'm bawling. Like, oh. Because Julie Andrews just told me that all my dreams are going to come true and I didn't know until that moment that that was really all I had ever wanted out of life was for Julie Andrews to tell me that my dreams are going to come true. The fireworks show is over, people are leaving the park or going to do a last ride or whatever they're doing and I'm just sitting on the curb bawling. And all of a sudden, as I'm sitting there, I come to this terrible realization that I have been making fun of my friend Trevor for years for liking the fireworks show. And I don't think we even made it out of the park. And I was calling him. And I'm just like, Trevor, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's like, what? What's going on? It's like the fireworks with the new man. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. I told you. My dreams are gonna come true.
because Julie Andrews says so. I was a production assistant on a uh, web series called Aces that I had never heard of before I was contacted on it, but it's a fantastic show. Uh, so far, the only thing that's out I think is the pilot, and I worked on the first season, but right now there is a uh, tour of the set that we were on, and I hosted that. I happened to post that, so I'll put a link in the description um, let, uh, so that you guys can find that. If you like people just completely losing it over the sound of Julie Andrews' voice, oh man, I'm putting this on the internet. Um, if you like that, then give this a like, because I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff.